Today is a very beautiful day. Also, the leaves are so green. It's uh, the deep green of a summer color. This Buddha hall also is uh, so pleasant to uh, chant and sit in. When the uh, doors are open, it's like uh, inside and outside become one. When Buddha saw a star and got enlightenment, he realized there's no separation in this world. All feelings, all thoughts of separation is made by our thinking. So how can we overcome that? Today I thought I would uh, read a poem by uh, our teacher uh, Sung San Dae San Sanim, Kun Sanim. This poem is called Original Face. Everybody has a face. Sometimes we like our face, sometimes we don't like it. Also, all through our life, this face is changing. Sometimes we even go to a doctor, change this face. But what is our original face? Uh, you, you will probably already understand in San Bogyo there's a very famous sentence. What is your original face before your parents were born? Uh, many practitioners use that question as the focus of their practice. So this poem is called Original Face. By Zen Master Sung San. Your true self is always shining and free. Human beings make something and enter the ocean of suffering. <coughs> Only without thinking can you return to your true self. The high mountain is always blue. White clouds coming and going. So uh, when uh, Sung San Sanim, at least when Sung San Sanim made a poem, it wasn't just to write something beautiful. Uh, he often wrote poems uh, to teach. Sometimes a student would write him a poem, then he would write a poem back. Sometimes he would just uh, uh, write a poem himself. Uh, for him, at least, it wasn't just to express a feeling, but to present some teaching that might uh, help all beings. <coughs> uh, 
In our lives, we have a happiness and sadness. A good things happen, bad things happen. But here it says, your true self is always shining and free. Many times we can feel stuck by some situation. But Buddha taught our true nature is always free, always bright. So then, what's this true self? How come we can't be aware of this uh, brightness and this freedom all the time? So, next sentence in the poem says, human beings make something and enter the ocean of suffering. We make uh, uh, everything, actually. We really are always making something. <laughs> then uh, this, uh, uh, the things we make uh, become our hindrance. For example, in nature, where's the line between Tuesday and Wednesday? Nature has no line. If you look at a calendar, you can see Tuesday, Wednesday. If you look at your watch uh, or a clock, you can see 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. But the where in nature is this line between one hour and the next hour? In Korea, big suffering because we make a North Korea, South Korea. Thank you. Also, countries are always fighting about different pieces of land. Every country does this. That's as human beings, we make something and then suffering appears. What's the very first thing we make in our life? What's the first thing you made in your life? This is a body. The first thing we make in our life is our body. Inside our mother, we're already making something. When we're inside our mother, we're already making something. So our, uh, our teacher, Kun Sunim, always used to say, being born is already a big mistake. This universe is already complete. Everything is originally empty, nothing. So why come here? Why make this body? When I was a teenager, I decided my body was my parents' fault. <laughs> I didn't make this body. My parents made this body. 
So if I have a problem, it's their fault. <laughs> Maybe most of you probably have children. I'm sorry if they're teenagers. <laughs> Maybe they pass teenagers, so not so much headache for you. <laughs> But the many people, most of us, When we're unhappy, at some point, we blame our parents. <laughs> Why'd you make me? <laughs> you want me to study? You made me, you study. <laughs> But actually, we don't uh, understand. We made this body ourselves. <laughs> we wanted a body, so we got one. Our parents were just the condition. Also, most people want children. Maybe sometimes you must think, After you make a child, why, why did I do that? <laughs> why did I make this kid? <laughs> so we make something, then we get suffering. So k u n s u n i m also used to say, don't make anything. <laughs> But we're already here. So mistake, not mistake, isn't important. That, how make a mistake correct? So human beings' original mistake is make a body. Because we make I. So how make this mistake correct? If we understand the true I, our true self, then we can use everything in this world help others. That means making the mistake correct. Then the suffering world changes. It becomes a Buddha world. Our life becomes not the suffering and happiness, but the uh, deja, debi, great love, great compassion, great bodhisattva way. So our life changes from being one of opposites, good and bad, to Realizing my true nature and just living and helping all beings. Then this very body itself becomes Buddha. How can we do that? In the last, uh, the next part of the poem says, "Only without thinking can you return to your true self." Uh, people can take cushions and sit in the middle here. It's no problem. You sit anywhere that's comfortable. So very important this sentence. Only without thinking can you return to your true self. 
Somewhere in the Western world, maybe in America, uh, someone did an interesting experiment recently. They took volunteers and they asked them one by one to sit in a room by themselves. They just had to sit there for 45 minutes. There was nothing in the room except a chair and a small table. And on the table was a, a small button. They were told that uh, they didn't have to do anything in this room. Just, just stay there. Just sit in the chair for 45 minutes. But if they wanted, they could push the button anytime. But when they pushed the button, it would give them a shock that was a little bit painful. Then they did this experiment with many people. One by one, the people would go in the room and sit for 45 minutes. Nobody sat there for 45 minutes without pushing the button. Some people would push the button fairly often. Even though it gave a shock that was a little painful, it was better than doing nothing. <laughs> if you've ever tried to sit still for 10 minutes or 20 minutes, not do anything, you realize you're thinking all the time. <laughs> Thank you.